I have this unique bayonet here. It's an Erstatz bayonet, which is German for substitute. These were made to equip the rapidly expanding Imperial German army at the beginning of the First World War. These bayonets were made by small workshops according to their capabilities, and therefore there are many variations out there. This one in particular is made to fit two rifles, the main infantry rifle, the Gewehr 98, and its predecessor, still in second line use, the Gewehr 88. These rifles have different bayonet mounts. The Gewehr 88 has a short bayonet lug on the front band, placing the bayonet off to the side of the rifle. The short lug necessitates the use of a muzzle ring to provide additional support to the bayonet. The thick barrel jacket places the lug some distance away from the bore axis, and thus the muzzle ring is spaced above the handles, similar to on this Austrian bayonet. The Gewehr 98 has the bayonet lug on the bottom of the barrel. It's much longer, providing more support to the bayonet, and thus the bayonets don't require a muzzle ring. Because the bayonet is now mounted underneath the barrel, they need a hole through the handle to accommodate the cleaning rod. This is a 9805 bayonet. It has the long slot for the lug, a hole through the handle for the cleaning rod, and what remains of a muzzle ring located directly above the handle. So how does the Airstats bayonet manage to fit on both of these rifles? The Gewehr 88 has a short lug and requires a muzzle ring. The Gewehr 98 doesn't require a muzzle ring and has a longer lug and needs to fit the cleaning rod. Taking a look at the bayonet, the slot for the lug is the longer length and there is a hole for the cleaning rod at the bottom of it and through the handle. The muzzle ring is open at the top. The ears on this example are bent inwards. The sides should be straight and the opening should be an oval shape like this. I'll try to fit this bayonet on the Gewehr 88 since the fit of the ears is much more important on this rifle. This really illustrates that they're bent inwards, preventing them from fitting over the barrel. Another problem with this bayonet specifically is the finish. It's very shiny, looks like it's been chrome or nickel plated, perhaps as a war trophy. It is beginning to flake off at the point, but it's firmly intact on the rest of the bayonet. But my main goal is to get this bayonet to fit on both rifles. Let's get going on that.
I've been testing the fit on the Gaveri 88 along the way, but let's see how well it fits now. There's minimal up and down movement, some back and forth, and quite a bit side to side. It seems like most of the play is coming from the slot being oversized for the bayonet look. Now to try it on the Gewehr 98. There's quite a bit more up and down movement, some back and forth, and still a lot of side to side. It seems like the slot is oversized for both rifles. The Gewehr 88 didn't show as much movement up and down due to the muzzle ring providing additional support, but such fit is probably expected for what this bayonet is, a cheap, quickly made, Substitute for a standard bayonet. Does it work though? Thanks for watching.